are we? It is June, it's currently June 16th, which means it's Pride. So I had to do a look for Pride Month. The look we're gonna do is actually an old look that I did last year. So this is what it looked like. So that's my reference picture. I'm gonna try and recreate it. I still have that wig, but it is currently dirty. So I can't wear it, unfortunately. I did just get this wig from Uvini. I think that's how you say your name. They actually sent me a bunch of wigs to do like a try on haul. So I'm gonna be doing that for you probably next week because I'm going on vacations here soon. But I've been searching for a light gray or a white wig like this with bangs for so long and I have not been able to find one and they have it and I'm really liking it. But yes, in honor of pride, we will be doing this rainbow look today. A lot of people ask me what my sexuality is and honestly, I don't know. I find myself attracted to all sorts of people and all sorts of genders and I think I like dick, but there's girls with dicks, so pansexual? I don't know. I haven't been with a lot of people. I have only ever been with straight cis men, so like I think if I were to really figure that out, I'd have to experiment, but like I'm engaged, so I don't know. It's just really not like a big a big thing to me. I just try and be a good ally and Someone's mowing their lawn. Besides all of that, I usually just focus my energy this month on being a better ally. And so I wanted to direct your attention to some links that I'm gonna put down in the description of some LGBTQ plus organizations and charities and causes that you can donate to. I myself will be donating to hopefully all of them at least, or at least that, at least most of them. And if you have any more recommendations to good causes and charities, I tried to do some research beforehand, but like, if you happen to know of one that I did not cite, feel free to comment it down below. I see Perch. He's, he's down there in the corner. Ah, he's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna do my complexion this time because a lot of people have been commenting saying that they like when I do it. It does make for longer videos. If you guys are cool with that, then I'm cool with it too. I'm gonna try and put these bangs up to get them out of, my, out of the way um, so I don't have makeup in this way. Hopefully it doesn't destroy it, we'll see. Oh, the things I do to look cute for videos. This is probably so bad for this wig. I hope that uh, the company that sent this to me is not watching this. It's fine, like it's, it'll, it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my primer. This is the Fenty Pro Filter. What is this one? This is Soft Matte. I already did my sunscreen. That's the most important part. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a skincare video too, so that's another video I have planned for when I get back from vacation. We had planned on moving to Florida and this trip we actually planned a while ago because we were gonna go home and look at houses. And uh, after thinking about it for a couple months, I kind of don't really wanna move to Florida anymore for a couple reasons. We are probably gonna stay in the Pacific Northwest, even though it is a lot more expensive, but I, we're probably gonna be moving to the Portland area. But since I already planned this trip, I couldn't really get my money back if I had canceled it. So we're still gonna go. We're just gonna make it a little vacation. However, right now it's like super rainy, I guess. And there's like red tide in the area that we're going. So I'm super bummed. I'm like, what are we even gonna do? I just really wanted to go to the beach. But yes, skincare video is coming. I will definitely be doing that. I've wanted to do that for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot today. I'm really loving this foundation for summer. I feel like it stays on better than the other one that I use all the time, which is the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. This one has better coverage too, but even if I don't need the coverage, I feel like it stays on better. It doesn't transfer as easily to other things. I'm gonna go with my Beauty Blender. I might have to go make an iced coffee. It's like really, really hot right now. I don't really go outside very often though, and my house is freezing because of our axolotls. We have to have our house be pretty cold so that their water doesn't get too warm. So my house is usually like anywhere from like 60 to 68 degrees, which is pretty cold. But I do have my window open right now, and I can tell it's hot as fuck out there. So many people ask me for foundation tips and Despite being trained as a makeup artist, I feel like the best thing you can do to make your foundation look good is to just make your skin look good. Your foundation is only gonna look as good as your skin. That is a phrase that I hear all the time working as a makeup artist, and it's true. Like, 
your skin doesn't look good, it's actually pretty hard to cover that up, especially like texture and like bulky like things. Like that's it's pretty easy to cover like redness and stuff like that, discoloration, but like acne, textures, scars, like those things are a lot harder to cover. Also, if you if your skin's really dry, like um, dry patches are really difficult to cover, and your skin can actually absorb the moisture in your foundation, and that'll create like this like weird separation effect. So. I think skincare is like so, so, so important. And it's really the only reason that my foundation looks this good. And it's the only reason that I don't have to use like multiple layers of foundation and concealer and powder and baking and all that crap. Okay, so I'm gonna do my concealer real fast. Speaking of, this is just the Tarte Shape Tape in shade 8B. My Marc Jacobs, if you're curious, is shade 130. So with this, I usually just cover up under my eyes just a little bit and then there's some like scarring that I have because this is where I get my acne. And then I cover up here just because I have a lot of like little mini eyebrows that grow in up here that I don't want to pluck every single day so I just like cover them. Oh, another thing that's hard to cover with makeup are pores. If you have big pores, like there's pore filling primers that can help. but. Makeup is not gonna make your pores disappear. When you see that online, they're lying to you. Brows are gonna be so easy for me today. So last year when I did this, I covered up my brows with concealer, which like I kind of already did, but I'm also going to use, so this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. I actually have a ton of these from when I was a makeup artist. I had one in like every color. And now that I know I don't want to be a makeup artist anymore for like, um, you know, doing makeup on other people, I have kind of just been like taking everything out of my kit and just using it myself, which has been really fun. Just cleaning off my brush. I'm going to use the same brush that I've used this whole time with my uh, Anastasia Dip Brow. So it's just this little tiny guy here, little slanted man. I don't know what, what like name this is because it's is so old it like came off but they do still sell this i'll have to go look at it at work sometime but i'm just going to use this just to kind of define my brows a little bit Now I'm gonna use concealer to just clean up the edges. I already did this side because the side was really bad. <laughs> I'm using the same concealer, just the, sh the I almost said sharp, <laughs> the sharp tape tape, the tart shape tape. And I am using this little brush from, this is either Morphe or Anastasia, I don't know, it's not labeled. So, but it's just a flat brush like that. And I just put some concealer on there and very carefully outline my brows. So I always start, I have concealer on both sides of this brush. I always start in the inner side. Yeah, on this side, I mostly wanna just kind of sharpen that up. Now I'm gonna blend it. And I do know that this brush is for Morphe, a little blendy guy here, looks like that. And this I got out of the kit. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this is really starting to hurt my head. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. tape liner thingies. Um, I've used these in past videos, they're my favorite. They are literally life-changing. You can get them off of Amazon. When placing these, I always try and follow the lower trajectory of my eye. So if I was to continue to draw a line with this like slope here, that's where it would go. For me, that usually ends up being kind of where my eyebrow ends. I have a tendency to want to do my wings to horizontal versus vertical. So that's kind of what um, visual I give myself to make that a little easier. I'm for once not gonna use my Makeup by Mario brushes for a look. I'm gonna be using these two brushes out of my ColourPop set that I have. I really need to figure out what the fuck this set is called because I use these brushes all the time. It looks like this. It came with my Stone Cold Fox palette that I have like never really used. I should probably do a look with this sometime. 
So this is E22 and E23. So E22 is a little bit more like fluffy. E23 is a little bit more like dense and better for placing color. So we're gonna place the colors with this. We're gonna blend with this. And so I'm gonna use my Sugar Pill Fun Size Palette and I might use a little bit of yellow from a different palette because I feel like the yellow in this one, I've never really used it. It kind of has like a green hue to it, which I don't want. I want like a true yellow. I think I'm gonna use this yellow and I might even go in with this green. We'll see. So I'm using two palettes, Sugar Pill Fun Size and the Melt Radioactive. These are my two like rainbow palettes that I own. And then I have to do my primer. This is the Anastasia Eye Primer. And then the other thing that you're gonna need for this look is a white concealer. You could make this work with white eyeshadow, but I'm gonna use a white concealer. This is a cut crease, so I'm gonna do my cut crease with my shape tape, but I'm gonna put this over the top of it. So this is the KVD Whiteout Concealer. I've tried to use this for shape for um, cut creases, and it just doesn't dry down very well, but I'm gonna put this over the top of my dried shape tape concealer. You'll see how it looks. So I'm gonna start with Level Up from the Fun Size Palette, and I'm gonna put that in the corner of my eye. And I'm using E23, the little placer brush. And then I'm gonna go in with E22 and blend that. And that's kind of gonna be what I'm gonna do for this whole look, is just going back and forth. Since this is a cut crease, I will be bringing these colors up pretty high. If you haven't watched my other cut crease videos, I don't cut my crease where my actual crease is. I take it up pretty, pretty far because my eyes are pretty small and I want to give the illusion of larger eyes. So it looks like the next color I used was purple. So now I'm gonna do player one from the fun size palette and I'm kind of like wiping my brush off. I have a towel down here, but if it still has some color on it, it's fine. Okay, now I'm gonna do my blue color, which is 8-bit. I've used this color on this channel a lot before. I was thinking of doing a bisexual flag color this year instead of just the gay flag because I more closely identify with that, but I don't even know what I am. So we're gonna do all the colors. So as you can see, I'm going to be trying to create that like wing shape. So I'm trying to loosely follow that in my mind. This color in particular is not really like in my crease anymore because I'm gonna be cutting my crease anyways. I'm gonna add a little bit more purple to this. This is kind of like a adjusting as you go kind of look because some colors will kind of overpower each other and you'll just have to go back in and add color where you see fit. Now I'm gonna go in with cheat code, this like teal green color up here. So now I'm trying to kind of curve this back down and then we're gonna finish the corner, the outer corner with yellow. Okay, now we're gonna finish with yellow. So switching to the radioactive palette, I think that is the only color I'm gonna use out of this one. This yellow is just so pretty though. So this is what we have so far. It looks super cute. Now we're gonna do our cut crease. I just went and looked at the picture and I'm actually gonna take my pink shade down a little further into my inner corner, just so that it matches more um, the shape that we're gonna create. Again, if you haven't watched my other cut crease videos, I kind of do it the same way every time. There's two brushes that I use predominantly when I do cut creases. They look like this. This is my bigger one. Um, it's my smaller one. I haven't cleaned this one off yet. They do not have a brand. I have no idea where these came from, but I use them all the time for cut creases. So I would just use a small, flat, dense brush with kind of a rounded tip. That'll give you the most control. You definitely don't want to use any sort of like fluffy brush for this. And I always start with my bigger brush. So I'm using my shape tape again. And I always kind of start in like this region right here when I do this. I 
and you just want to ever so carefully cut your crease and outline this like big wing. Okay, when I start to get down here, I usually switch to my other brush because it's a lot smaller and I don't want to screw this up. And instead of just coming to my inner corner, I'm actually going to go a little bit below it. So I'll show you what I mean by that. This is like really difficult actually. Props to me for doing this last year cause fuck. So that's the shape that we want. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cover the color underneath this line with concealer. You don't really have to do your whole eye because we have eye primer that's on. So like the shadow will stick here, but we just wanna cover up that color. I feel like I'm basically doing the whole thing anyways. I just freaking love shape tape, it works so well. Yeah, I'm basically filling in the whole thing anyway, so never mind. So we have our cut crease, and like I said, we are gonna go in and fill in, or we're gonna outline the edge of this with our white concealer. First, I'm gonna do the next layer of this look, and so I'm gonna use a flat brush for it. So as you can see, very flat brush, very defined tip, <clears throat> and we're gonna do the opposite of what we just did. So I like to use these brushes to kind of create that edge. I'm gonna start with yellow. So the reason that I brought my concealer farther in than usual is because we're doing a double cut crease. So when you do this one, you're gonna start basically right at the inner corner of your eye. This is really awkward, so I'm really sorry if you can't see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll just hold this, that way you guys can like see what I'm doing. So as you can see, I left a little bit of a gap there. You can fill the whole thing in if you want to, but since I'm just gonna put like white concealer there, I might as well save myself the work. Now I'm gonna go in with my cheat code, my little teal shade, and I'm just using the same brush. I'm just like kind of wiping off the extra. So I'm placing it with this brush and then I'm gonna use my other brush that I used to blend for our first layer. I'm just using the same one to blend this together. And I'm picking up a little bit of yellow with this brush. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of the green shade Xenon out of the Radioactive palette and see if that makes this a little easier to blend. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, adding the Xenon shade really helped. So I didn't use this the first time around, but I went and blended that in between these two colors. I don't know why I didn't really need it the first time, but whatever. So this is what it looks like so far. Now I'm gonna go in with my blue color, 8-bit. So same brush, flat brush. Now going in with player one, purple shade. We're almost done, oh my gosh. I'm kind of just going back and forth between the two colors, just carefully blending them together. Last color. Level up. Now I'm gonna do my white concealer. So again, this is the white out from KVD. This is just a little pointy brush from Morphe. And now we're gonna just highlight this line we've created with white. I don't know if you guys can see how bad my hands are shaking, but this is why you don't drink three cups of coffee before you film a makeup tutorial. I 
ended up bringing this further down and making like a little inner liner thing. And I did it on the other side too. And I did put a little bit more pink underneath it. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Just with my flat brush. And now I'm gonna take off these little liner tapes and then we're gonna do underneath, we'll do our lashes, um, lipstick, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and blush. I could not deal with that headband anymore. So I took off the little tapes and then I just went in with a little bit more concealer and kind of just like covered up the spot of makeup where all of the tape where the tape took off my makeup. So now we're gonna cover, we're gonna do our lower lash lines. So I'm gonna use my Elf Reese brush. I use this thing all the time. Since we already have pink here, I'm gonna go in with player one. And then eight bit. And then cheat code, which is our green teal. And then once you get up here, I'm gonna try and kind of like leave a little space because we're actually gonna highlight this with white as well. So switching over to my radioactive palette, I'm gonna use Xenon, which is our green shade. And lastly, Neon. And then the last step with our eyeshadow, we're gonna go back in with our little tiny guy. And if you wanna use the tape, for this, you can. I'm not going to, but I have a lot of practice with eyeliner, so I'm pretty good at it. The reason why I say that I fuck it up is so I should just shut up. Hey, didn't fuck it up. For lashes, I'm just using these like big fluffy ones that I got off of Amazon a million years ago. They don't have like a brand, so I don't know. And they're too big for me. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna be cutting off the edges of these. I'm cutting off the long side and we're gonna actually glue that piece to the bottom. I usually have to cut lashes because like I said, my eyes are smaller than most, I think. So we have two little extra pieces like this and I'm gonna glue these top ones on. So this is just black duo glue. And I always let my lashes sit for like a minute or so before I try and put them on. You just want it to be super tacky. I know the bottle says 30 seconds, but I usually wait like probably two minutes, maybe, maybe longer. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna do my blush and I'm gonna be using the Fenty Drama Class blush that I use all the time. So this little cream one, it is bright fucking purple. I always use this brush when I do this blush. It's from, I wanna say BH Cosmetics. I'm not sure where I got this. And I'm gonna try and not get it in the wig. I like to use a lot of blush. You don't have to use this much. Okay, fuck everything I just said. Those lashes suck. No wonder I never use them. I'm just going to use my old Miss Fury lashes that I've been wearing the past couple of weeks. I feel like with the thicker band, they just work better. Like those, the inner corner kept popping up and it was like hurting me to blink. So I was like, okay, fuck that. But I'm still gonna use the little um, lash pieces that I cut off. So I always hold mine by the middle, tilt my head back and drop them down. Yeah, this is staying way better than the other ones were. Now I'm gonna put on my little ones you can just plop those kind of in the corner there. So we have our lashes. Now I'm gonna do my waterline. This is the Sephora collection white eyeliner. Some of you guys have given me suggestions for cruelty free ones and I will be buying them as soon as I use this up. I also am gonna go get the Urban Decay white concealer cause so many people have recommended it to me. I just haven't had a chance to go get it yet. When I do my next Sephora haul, I will get it. And I was gonna try and put on some like neutral lipstick, but I cannot find like the only neutral lipstick I own. So I'm not even gonna do lipstick today. I just put a little bit of lip oil on. For highlight, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit and I'm gonna be using shade Ethereal, my favorite purple shade. And I'm gonna top that with Diamond Bomb from Fenty because I just really want this to pop. My Diamond Bomb is a mess if you can see that because I took it on a plane with me and that was a bad idea. 
And now when I do this, I pick up little chunks, but it makes for um, a very good highlight actually. So I was gonna do my contacts, but I decided not to because I just kind of like it like this. But I did put on my little horns. I got these white ones as clips. So they were attached to little clips and I ripped them off the clips for the look last year. I just glued them to my forehead, but obviously I can't do that with bangs. So I glued them to this headband instead that I happened to have. And guess what I glued them with? If you guess eyelash glue, you are correct. And, the, and it worked. Oh, I love that. So yeah, this is the whole look. It's super cute. I love this wig actually. Like, I feel like this would make a really good Sophie from Howl's Moving Castle cosplay, but you know, this is cute too. So yeah, that's all for me today, you guys. I hope that you have a fun and safe pride. And uh, yeah, bye. I lied, I did decide to put them in. So this is what it looks like. And they're from Peaky Paradise, by the way. I have an affiliate code, it'll be down below. Okay, bye.